They say I walk like I never had a problem. I, I say nah, nah, man, I walk like I know how to solve them. Right. Powerful connections I do not want to involve. What's good, folks? It's K Spade, the prospect, aka the big blue Chevy driver, and sometimes referred to as the YouTube MVP. And, folks, today I got a great NBA 2K11 crew game for you guys. You got the Made Men versus Underrated Fam 1. Oh, man, what a great game. But before I get into the commentary, I want to kind of go off on, on this one thing that means a lot to me. Yeah, it won't take long. Just give me a minute. Okay, so look, I didn't grow up like a lot of kids grow up nowadays, spoil, get everything they want. That wasn't my life. I don't want to say I grew up poor. That might be a stretch. But to kind of put things into perspective, I got my first pair of name brand shoes when I got my first job at 16. Uh, side note, that's why I'm such a big Jordan fanatic now, because I promised myself when I got money, I would never wear anything but the finest tennis shoes for the rest of my life. So that's a little bit of background. But when you grow up without things or without a lot of nice things or... I don't want to say necessarily, not materialistic things, but just tangible things, things in general. When you grow up without things, you, you, you have this thing about respect. Respect is just really, really big for me. And even though I'm an adult now with kids of my own, respect is still really big to me. And I teach my kids about it. I make sure that they not only respect others, but that they demand their respect. And I'm going to always demand mine. So to not make this a long story, if Crew Mode ended tonight, if 2K Sports put out a tweet or a message on Facebook, I got a big-ass bullhorn and just yelled across the world that they were shutting service down today, I would want the made men, wait a minute, Rainmaker. I would want the, the made men to be remembered as a legit crew. I mean, legit from the start of it to the finish of it that played a simulation-style straight-up b-ball game. I mean, never, ever abuse exploits. It just came out here and was a pretty good crew. I never sold you guys the lie that we was the best crew in the world. I never said that. I never said I was the best player in the world. Uh, but at the same time, don't get it twisted, man. If anybody tell you we not good, it's either an A or B situation. They either A, telling you a straight up lie, or B, they got hate in their heart. And in some cases, you know, it could be A and B. You know, they could have hate in their heart and still be telling you a straight up lie. So... You know, I respect everybody that does this. It's a lot of, well, a lot is, it's not a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> but there's some legit crews that really go out here and put it down, and I got respect for y'all. Underrated Fan 1, Extreme Explicit, uh, We Too Conscious. I, I got respect for the legit crews, and at the same time, man, I feel like that respect should be coming back towards us. TMM to our DIE, man. But anyway, let me get into this. Three-man crew versus a three-man crew, and let me tell you about my guys. The guy with the ball that just had the ball, six foot three, all around play style, MK47. One of the most exciting players to watch in crew mode to me. The guy he's about to pass it to right here, dropping the rainmaker, six foot six, scoring style, K Spade, shooting guard, that's me. And I gotta tell you about my big man. I know y'all think it's the beast, but it's not. This is Nate D O double G, not Johnny Five. This is the machine. He is a seven foot one back to the basket specialist. How many times do you encounter a back to the basket specialist online? I'm waiting. That's what I thought. So, man, I'm telling you, it's a three man crew versus a three man crew. Both teams fought it out. In the words of Kevin Garnett, man, it was a bar fight. You know that whole back to the basket thing? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Give it to the machine. Shot clock running out. Sexy. That's what I'm talking about. I had two options. I could have just took a retarded jump shot and hoped for the best. Or I could just press the easy button and give it to the machine in the post. I chose option B. I would say I did the right thing. So coming back, I show you guys the MK47 frees himself up. Of course, I see him. I got eyes in the back of my head. The pass comes right on point. He catches it. Beautiful. Beautiful. So going into the half, we really want to go in with the lead. We had a three-point lead. That's an awful defensive play on my behalf. And um, ah, a ridiculous layup falls. I really wanted the machine to send that shit into the third row. But he couldn't get there in time. And, I mean, I really want to give a kudos to these guys. These guys played their butts off, man. And we played ours off. I would pay to see this type of game. These are the games I want to see. So for the guys that's seven foot five, like this one kid, you, you seven five, you hop stepping, you drawing charges, you pump fake glitching, 
And then he gonna have the audacity to tell me to lose like a man. When you win like a man, I lose like a man. But if you play like a bitch, I call you a bitch. So the game is going into halftime right here. And underrated fan one is starting to pull away a little bit. Uh, and we just got to fight. You know, at this point, we've been here many times before. We know you can't crack under pressure. You got to play and you got to control your turnovers. When you play top crews, it's all about turnovers. Whoever turns the ball over more, nine times out of ten, it's an L. I mean, that's just how it goes down. So you see right here, Paul Lucas in the third quarter, six of seven, only one missed shot. You saw the machine only had two missed shots. And at this point, I'm not sure how many I've taken, but I really haven't taken a lot of shots. So third quarter... Uh, we really got to make a run here. This is our time to make a push and you see I got all the aggro Army of two style and MK 47 will be more than happy to knock that three down. So Early in the game. I got some easy looks and then they really keyed in on me I mean they were all over me, but I think I do a really good job of surveying the court I told you guys that in the last video So when I got all the aggro, I just got my teammates involved and I kind of rode their coattails until I could free up if I ever freed up so you're looking, we're trying to chop at this lead, we're chop, chop, chopping at the lead, and that's a big steal by MK47. If you know like I know, he's going all the way to the cup. He takes a hard foul, goes to the free throw line to convert both shots. Tie game, a little more than a minute left in the third. Third quarter is run quarter for us. It's gas pedal time. Uh, they didn't really let us wait a minute. Face short. Wow, man. That's my shot right there. I love that corner free throw shot. I'm not just a three-point shooter. People think I only take three-point shots. That's not it. Um, I, I try to. I take shots. I take what people give me. That, that's my strong point. You know what? This is how you know we playing a legit crew because he really could have got me with the pump fake glitch right there, but he didn't. Kudos to him for playing it straight up. And uh, I don't know. Hindsight, he probably wish he did get me with it. Missed the shot. The machine gets the rebound, and we're adding to the momentum that we've already created. And I barely sneak away. Just barely. Oh, and the shot is falling. So now we got a four-point lead. If we can go into the fourth quarter with the lead, I feel pretty good about it. You see I'm shooting 71%. So I don't have many points. And MK47 jumps another passing lane. Can we call him Darrell Rivas? That's a whole lot of contact. The ref don't blow the whistle, but it doesn't matter because he's going to finish. I'm loving this, man. Third quarter drawn out. We still can't get the separation we want. And I already told you, man. When in doubt, I get it to the big fella. <laughs> but in this one here, the machine finds 47, who's only missed two shots. I'm going to go ahead and say the fourth quarter, he's only missed two shots. That's efficient. That's the kind of shooting that I want to see. Excellent defense on this, on this shot. I would say it's the last shot. It's actually not. We come back, we give ourselves the opportunity to go up big, and we just can't drop it. Man, I'm still at this point. That third quarter was so major for TMM so major and so much of that weight fell on uh mk47 because not only did he shoot the ball well but defensively he he stayed home that's what you got to do in the zone you got to stay home um the machine can't convert there and we're back on defense i'm back on defense and got a little bit of a hop step right there uh, my homeboy maul said one means you're not abusing it that's what he says so by maul's standards i i could pump fake glitch somebody once a game and be okay so Depending on who you are, I don't know how you feel about that, but we ain't going to say it was a big deal. Uh, maybe it was the right move for the situation. I think it was. But we got to keep the pressure on. The tough thing to do in a game like this, when you get the lead, you want to play not to lose. But you got to be just as aggressive. And MK47, aggressive is his middle name. Is MK aggressive, 47 aggressive. He got aggressive in there twice. Do some monster. So who would have thought? With all that defense that a 6-3 all-around point guard would be in the paint dunking. I sure as hell wouldn't have. But like I said, it's about the aggro. I got boatload of it right now. The machine's got boatload of it right now. The machine, smart decision maker. He comes out of the paint. He gets the triple team. Ain't nobody going to go out 47. I mean, you know, it's up to y'all. You, you do how you want to do it. MK47 converts another one. We got a five-point lead with a little more than a minute to go. Defense is what it's going to be about here. Defense, defense, and more defense. You gotta stay home in your zones. You see, I got some help from the big fella. Everybody's where they're supposed to be. I'm here. And oh, I'm not there. Ah, oh, man, they stretch me wide. When you play a three-man crew, when all of them come behind the uh, line, it's tough in the two-three. Now, two-three is what we prefer. We play one-three-one as well as man and three-two, but. 
two three is what we prefer and sometimes you know it'll bite you so that's a very 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 costly turnover right here with less than a minute to go nobody wants to turn the ball over this late maybe we can get a big defensive stand yes actually we didn't it's just a tough miss I know he's kicking his own self right there that's the shot he's got to make MK 47 gets the rebound right the 6-3 guy got the rebound yes the 6-3 guy got the rebound and at this point I want to give it to 47 he's hot yes major that's clutch right there that is clutch so man TMM for the win dog another steal from 47 at the end of the game and I want the pass he tries to alley -oop. we can't convert I just wanted the regular pass so I could get me a dunk but you know Great game, man. Kudos to these guys. Uh, like I say, TMM to IDIE, man. I love my crew. And I will hit you guys with another video, another commentary. Mm, soon. I can't even give you a date. Soon. So after the game, you see that me and Mighty Soul Blaze 1 show each other respect. And I'm out, y'all. That's all I got. Peace.